Howdy y'all and welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Evan. And I'm Katie. Tonight we've got stories about local elections, the police chief, and more. The position of city manager has been narrowed down to two people, <laughs> Duania Browning and Deborah Molinoff. Browning said that filing vacancies, with filling vacancies across the city would be her top priority if hired for the role. Browning also plans to address issues in the jungle, Ithaca's large homeless encampment outside of Wegmans on Ithaca's West End. Primarily with the experience with their position in Washington, D.C. Homeless Services Department. Deborah Mollenhoff, the other candidate for city manager, is Ithaca's current chief of staff and former longtime council member. Mollenhoff has also served on the Common Council for 12 years and was appointed the designated acting mayor in 2014. Mollenhoff said she would also want to prioritize hiring a permanent chief of police. The role has been vacant since 2021. Speaking of police chiefs... Lieutenant Thomas Kelly of the Schenectady Police Department has been selected to serve as Ithaca's permanent chief of police. The mayor's selection is subject to the approval of the Common Council, which is scheduled to vote on the appointment on December 6th. Ithaca has been without a permanent chief of police since former Chief Dennis Nayer resigned in the spring of 2021. The lack of leadership has led to bad effects on the department, including low staffing levels and worsening morale among officers. It remains uncertain whether the Common Council will approve Kelly's appointment, but two council members, Alder Persons George McGonigal and Duxon, have said they plan to vote for Kelly. Over 100 people peacefully marched across Ithaca Saturday to call over ceasefire in Gaza. Marchers waved signs, banners, and flags supporting Palestine as they walked from the commons to the intersection of Meadow and Clinton streets. Protesters said that they were troubled that Israel's attacks targeted civilian areas. The current part of the decades-long conflict has sparked dozens of local demonstrations, vigils, marches, and other acts of civil engagement in and around Ithaca. The Ithaca Police Department is looking for the public's help in identifying a suspect who threatened a store employee during a dispute last week at a business on 3rd Street. Officers responded at about 4 p.m. on Monday to a report of a dispute between two people, one of whom reportedly had a firearm. During the dispute, the suspect allegedly threatened to kill an employee of the business while displaying a black handgun. Police say the suspect left the area in a dark blue 3 Series BMW with a sunroof with, a white, with light, white license plates. IPD asked for any kind of helpful information at this time. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.